night everyone so um a bit of a disaster today we were supposed to be going out on uh, my pal's uh, boat a um a 3.4 meter rib uh, sorry sib that he got um and it came this morning and they sent him an inadequate tool to close the um to close the valves so we uh, we couldn't close the valve so we couldn't get out um i have brought my kayak anyway um with me and so as you might be able to see <laughs> i've just been out on that i only spent an hour out there just uh, with the feathers see if i could find any mackerel uh, there's not much about my mate mark had a spin off the rocks as well with some feathers and still nothing as well so um i only had an hour because um, he was uh, wanting to head off somewhere else, which is our next venue, which will be Hollyhead Breakwater. So I want to go down there and see if I can find any mackerel, or if we can find any mackerel, um, and then I think we're going to have a night fish somewhere later on. Anyway, <laughs> enough waffle from me. Um, I'll hopefully next see you fishing. I'll keep you down here as the wind. <laughs> We've still got a session tonight over on uh, Church Bay, uh, Port Swatan. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see if we can get anything later on. Um, I've just got a rod out there in the hope that I might see something. Well, it's not looking hopeful. But I've had a nice day anyway, and it's been absolutely lovely weather, so can't complain about that. Right, so until I'm fishing somewhere else, I'll catch you in a bit. Hi everyone, so <laughs> now to the evening session. Uh, we're just on Church Bay, which is Port Swatan. Uh, just here with my mate Mark. Can I say hello, Mark? Right. <laughs> um, he's just had a little dogfish. So, it's not a blank at this stage, luckily for Mark. Um, I forgot my reel, so I had to go back up to the car to get it. <laughs> Typical me. Uh, I'm fishing on worm. Mark's got a couple of peeler. Uh, well, I say a couple, but a bucket of peeler that he got this morning. So, he's on one worm, one crab. Did you get the dogfish on worm? Worm. I'll give you a look at this sunset in a minute, but uh, after the sunset, I'll come back to you if we see any more action. Nice, everyone. So <laughs> that's my blank saved. And there he is. Mr. Doggy. Look at him. Not quite big enough. For us to take, not a lot of meat on that. So we'll go back in the hope for a bigger one. But you know what we're like? We'll take a dogfish home, no problem. Anyway, let's see if we get any more. Right, that's fish number two for me. And he's alive, a little dogfish. I'll show him you. Nice uh, dark one, that one. I'm bleeding from his mouth, but he'll be okay. Just where the hook's gone in. Right, everyone, so we're only an hour in. And it's an absolute dogfish fest. <laughs> I've had two, Max had four. So, uh, yeah, could be one of those nights. Fingers crossed it's not, and there's some nice stuff in between. But like I say, if I uh, get a big dogfish, I will be taking it home. Right, so as ever, I'll get back to you if we get anything else. Right, everyone, got another dogfish. Yeah. <laughs> Just a tiny little thing. <laughs> Look at that little lad. <laughs> Hang on, is it a lad? Nope, it's a girl. Yeah, 
tiny little girl. <laughs> anyway, let's get her back. Max had himself a doggy, and that was on Peeler. Decent size. Good fish. <laughs> Stay still, mister. <laughs> so, that's a nice size doggy. So, I'll be keeping this mark because I've won a similar size as well. So, I'll be keeping them. Rock and chips. That's everyone. I just thought I'd show you uh, Venus. Super bright. Pretty much dark at the moment. My camera's picking up the last of the light down there. We're getting hammered by dogfish. I've probably not shown you about five or six dogfish now. Just uh, trying to get through them to maybe something a bit different. But anyway, I'll come back to you if we get anything. Anything different than a dogfish, or if it's a decent sized dogfish. Right everyone, so day two. And we're going to try just here, at the inland sea. I've never personally fished this before. You can probably just about see my mate Mark in the distance there. We're just going to go to the rush over there. See if we can pick something up. I'll just give you a 360. So, I'll see if I can find you anything today. Last night ended up a uh, dogfish session with over 20 dogfish, so <laughs> it was still nice. And uh, two keepers as well, so good point. Right, we'll see what we can find for you today. I'll catch you in a bit. Thanks everyone, so my mate Mark's just had a nice garfish on the uh, floats, I'll just show you. So he was just floating over there, next to the rush there. So have a nice garfish. Have a jubbly. My, uh, my mate Mark's just had a uh, garfish obviously before, which you saw. And then I've just had a nice little wrasse now, just down the side. Check out the colours on that.
I'll, uh, I'll do a video while I'm walking here because it's not very windy. Um, I forgot my phone, so <laughs> I'm going. I'm coming back from getting it now. So I thought I'd uh, let you know what's happening. Uh, so we've been to Mulfrey and uh, I'll just wait here before we get into that wind. Um, just been, we're at, like I said, we're at Mulfrey. Um, I've probably had about four mackerel. Not brilliant. There was a chap next to us that absolutely was hammering them. He couldn't do no wrong, and then everybody else couldn't catch anything. But that's the way it goes, I suppose. Um, so I've had four mackerel. We're going to give it a bit longer now. I'm not sure if we're going to fish later on or not, or whether I'll go straight home now. But uh, as ever, I'll get back to you anyway. <laughs> I'll catch you in a bit. Hi everyone, so just in the van at the moment at, I'll just show you, Clan Perfecton. Are you waving at the camera then? <laughs> Do it again then. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're at Clan Perfecton. Uh, just getting some worm. I think we're going to go and try uh, Carnarfon. I think, shall we? Did it change, wasn't it? So we've never fished there before, so it might be a new uh, just finding our feet job. But uh, I'll get some fresh worm from here, and uh, we'll see how we go. Um, we've not been out for a bit, other than on the uh, the boat at Whitby. So we've come to North Wales to try and make it count. <laughs> um, I'm sure we'll do some uh, quick sessions on the Fowl Coast or on the Mersey. Um, over summer, but usually summertime means we, we try and get a far of a field if we can. Anyway, enough waffle. We'll get these worm and hopefully then we'll see you fishing. Hi everyone, so your meter's fishing, old man just down there, <laughs> uh, Carnarfon Castle in the background there, and three rods out, and a cup of tea and a cup of coffee on the go, the boat just going in there, uh, yeah we've never fished here before, so we've no idea what to expect, we've just thrown in and hope for the best. Uh, I brought mine in and there doesn't seem to be loads of crab activity, that's a good thing, maybe, I don't know. But I haven't been snagged up, because it uh, looks a bit snaggy out there, but I'm hoping past this, this kelp here. Let's show you. Let's pass this kelp here. It should just be sand, fingers crossed. Get you out of the sun. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be too much of a tackle loss and we might see some fish.
Right, everyone. <laughs> we haven't had any bites to speak of, and we've we've moved up a bit. You can tell the old man's getting bored. He's uh, beach combing. <laughs> um, played with a bit of weed. I think rods have gone over twice, but with weed, the clumps of weed on them. Um, we've moved up a little bit from the castle at Carnarf and now just give you a 360 of where we are. Nice little spot, but we need to see some fish. But it's not looking very, very good. Um, we're hopefully going to have a fish at Clan for Feckin on the way home. Um, I think my dad's holding out for a bass um, on that venue. But we normally hit them in September. But it is summertime and the bass are around, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll come back to you if we get anything. You can't beat this spot. I mean, just look right there. The rods are literally there. <laughs> Blues and rods. There's not much can be easier than that. Now we just need to find some fish. everyone so round three <laughs> so the rods are in the water and so we're at uh, clam for on our way home we may as well have a try for some bass or anything at this stage because we're on a blank but uh, fingers crossed we can see something right i'll bring you back if you do. Right, everyone. <laughs> Hopefully, you can see me. I'm probably a bit blinded by this light, but I've got to have myself a nice bass. <laughs> Not quite big enough to keep, so I'll get him straight back, and he can get a bit bigger. I'll catch you in a bit. All right, everyone. So, and I've just had himself a schoolie as well. Oh. Anyway, we'll get it back. <laughs> Right everyone, I found myself a small dogfish. Let's get it back. Right everyone, so a nice surprise for me. Look at the size of that lovely bass. Absolutely stonking. I'll get it measured up and I'll put it in the bottom there, but it's definitely a keeper. And uh bought like a bought like a good one that. So Pleased, I think you can see on my face. <laughs> but yeah, absolute belter. Now, let's see if we can get any more before we leave. I think we're going to uh, knock it on the head in a minute. I think we're quite tired and a bit. We've got a bit of a drive ahead of us. I do apologise if it's windy on camera. I've not got my mic on. So. Just have a little, have a little look at him properly. <laughs> Stunning fish. 